Ha, we're starting the stream with me muted. <laughs> Professional streamer. How's everyone doing? Gem, thank you for subbing up for your 24th month, two whole years. That's a lot of time. That is a lot of time. I'm still not sure how I've been doing it for this long. And you guys just keep showing up like crazies. Thank you for your support. Anyways, we're back with more Final Fantasy 16. Uh, we murdered Titan. It was a long and crazy fight. Titan go away. Now we just gotta deal with mummy. There's other Titans, but I don't think I care about them as much. Like we've seen some of them, but we don't really know what's going on there. That's what happened last time. Our brother's off talking to... Bahamut? Bahamut. Yeah. We don't know what the heck's going on there. <laughs> cakes, cakes, we demand cakes. You see me, Rag? I cannot just give you cakes. I'm sorry. He's like, I can... There's some cake. Here's some cake. Also, you should check out his voice actor because he's all aboard the everyone's hot for Clive train. <laughs> it's great. The voice actor is loving <laughs> and just has leaned into the absolute chaos of Clive and his pecs and his cakes and just Clive doing the Clive things and he will just read ridiculous lines in his voice actor's spice. voice and it's great. <laughs> Do recommend. Anyways, um, we done did murder the Titan and now we gotta go speak with Vivian and maybe she'll give us another history lesson and just be like, this is what we're missing out on. We do love someone who's along for the ride, and I love that this voice actor is just like, yes, you're all thirsty for him. I don't care. I'll add to the thirst. <laughs> okay. Um, back to the hideaway. There was many, many cutscene. Last, uh, thingy. Stream? That's, that's the word we're doing. We're streaming right now. Now our lovely Vivian is going to give us a history lesson, hopefully, on everything that has been occurring, because, you know, she's great for that. Dear whatever game dev was like, we just need someone who's gonna sit there and visually show the player the history and the plot that is occurring, just as like a occasional reminder. Go to that dev. You win. Gold star. I need this. Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you Thank know you the tale of train. the blind men and the adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? That sounds naughty, somehow. Somehow? The kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. 
Yet Tharn sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet Damn, Warlike that's like Wolf almost fully covered. the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Wulud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Wulud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the Royalists betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are... All of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Okay, things have been happening in the chat while that hole was going on. Jolly B, thank you for seven up for your tenth month. And Raven and Gem, thank you both for the hundred biddies dog petting biddies and I guess I'll break the 69 biddies ah. <laughs> thank you everyone and thank you for the hype train you good good beans Blackthorn do you have a moment what is it I'm busy I wanted to tell you that Hugo Cooker is dead Tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. Uh, a new beginning under a new Sid. Heck yeah. I'll try to live up to the name. Poop on Hugo Kupka. He is a butted hole. That's still locked. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Somebody gifts of it? Somebody gifts of it? No, it's just Biddy. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Well, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing then. Very pleased Nothing with myself, you, thank Lady you. Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head though. I mean, there are still other icons, but hey. Is it a chocobo leading the hype friend? Yes. <laughs> Heck yes. Who wouldn't want a fat chocobo as their <laughs> conductor? I certainly will, so that's fair. Therefore, I train equal chocobo conductor. <laughs> ah, Clive. 
Have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Cooker is dead. <laughs> oh, my. Can, can, can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. Child. <laughs> he is. The big baby. Knock their heads together. <laughs> this is a moment. Reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go, put away your things. All right. Are you the child children that we removed burlap sacks from? We ain't got fancy clothing for? Finally, a new dawn has broken. It does. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I but saw it him do. with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It's a projection. It that is a, a choice it has made for its body. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Lizzie B, thank you for seven up for your 24th month. Hot dang. Look at y'all y'all getting your two year anniversary. I'm glad everyone is as happy as we are that he is gone. Now I guess we'll deal with Mummy Dearest, but that was my biggest concern. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. It is my prize! I mean, I guess I'll take the ability points, but the other two pieces don't feel like they're at all exciting. All yours. We claim they wish to change the world. Few actually take it upon themselves to do so. You are an inspiration to us all. Oh. All done? You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Your people at the old hideaway? Sid. You should uh, tell him. We're gonna go visit their graves. You're right. I should. My dumb butt. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old sod's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it.
Oh, this is gonna be a field trip. I don't wanna. I do wanna go visit Sid's grave, but I don't wanna. Game. I didn't sign up for this. This is supposed to be. Hurrah! He dead. Yay! Don't make me cry. Come up with something soon. All right, Clive. What do you want? I love her absolutely pointless little collar. And I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Young lady, thermal. you come visit your father with me. <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for. Only the fastest finest ship the world has ever seen the enterprise me and my dad designed it together where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water ours is fitted with mithril engines and those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood and more heat than all the hells put together she's gonna invent magic where the stack comes in I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. First things first. I need some parts. This is so British. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in here. I understand that any of this. Away from the, engine. the helm over the top that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. I thought there was only three things. Why did we see more than three uh, pictures? Full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make it not tell of them. Luckily, Me too, Clive. You know Nita. Me too. What are we going to do with a crazy ship? What are we gonna do with a crazy ship? Are we gonna be able to like gonna be able to be like boop, 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 boop. Can't zoom out like I want to. I mean it's not like there's even a port, so like are we gonna go here and we're gonna sail out and then we're gonna go woo and like sneak up through the, the icky lands? As we go all the way around. We just punch this crystal. Then we go down here and we punch this crystal. And then and and there's no more crystals, right? And everyone has to stop being buttholes and relying on crystals. That can make the bearers even worse off because they're the only one that can do magic. Hope that's not going to be what happens. A thought has occurred. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's go build a ship. Apparently, I have no idea why she wants to do it. <laughs> Seen troops pop, pop. Also, ooh, I should show you guys this because I have no idea Same what the heck is going on. Whoop. Now the bounty that I saw. I can't find these two. I went looking. I can't even find the location that they are at because I'm dumb and blind probably. But this one. Huge discovery of a fallen giant in the Rosarian ruins. We have been lately of investigating all work in the region is to be halted with immediate effect I'm curious what this is because it's named the breaker of worlds so at some point I need to go to the Rosarian ruins maybe see if I can't find that bounty because it looked cool it's also an S rank, which means it's gonna hurt my face a lot.
Sir, we require you to build crazy things again. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? How with it? It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. I'd spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy, though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. So Lid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade steel won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valcroy. Stardust, they call it. What? As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. Can I buy and bring One it of us back? We give you an anchor in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. No, I'll go. Right, you two go to the get the, get the sand. Well, make your minds up who's going where. We can get this over with. Five year mission? I don't think it's gonna. I mean, we've already time skipped five years. Oh. So. I don't think we're gonna do it again. We're on a mission and we're we're toppling things. I don't think we're gonna take another five years to get stuff done. Going after the stardust, then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? I mean, if I get to pick, right? Right? Like, we gotta take Gav. We love Otto, but Gav is our boy. Gav, you're with me. All right, this then. doesn't somehow seal his death. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Alamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn's supply. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I like to see him try. <laughs> In your own time. Well, you guys are making Star Trek jokes. I never watched Star Trek. So... I understand now when you guys were saying that's not the Enterprise I know. I get it now. Ha 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 ha. And me. Oopah. Got that, but we also got some sound. Hey, question. I, I didn't grow up as a Trekkie. I was a Star Wars kid. No Trek. War. Good day to you. Uh, nope, that's not the way. You would think I would get lost less at this late point in the game, but no. No. Ah, Clive. Your timing is exquisite as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. 
There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Sure. Of course. This way you don't send somebody out to their Excellent. death again. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales and make what you will of them. All right. I will. Hello, Sid. I feel like once we get see what the people boat the made, to say. I better find out that if maybe they nerves. might do another lock. Or something we need to take more seriously. On story or something, so I feel like I just want to get some side questing done real quick. Just to make sure we don't miss out on anything. Talk about babies. Word is the Black Shields took a hiding in the hands of some pet. Excuse me. Quinton mentioned strange figures having been sighted near the village. Have you seen anything? Nah, not me, Gov. I heard the rumors, though. I'm here most days, right next to the gate, and I ain't seen nothing out of the ordinary. Don't worry. Any shady characters try and slip into town this way, and I'll soon come running. And shouting, most likely. All right. Thank you. At least he's honest. Talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have are you they seen peepers? Out of the ordinary. No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. What was this? Oh, that's not in good. In Norbert's pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it. Screeching out from between the trees. Ran back here as quick as my legs would carry me. And I ain't been back since. This is I a good see. choice. I'll look into it. Thank you. This is a good choice. Seems Lorbert's pass oh. is our best bet then. She was just the lady we were looking Togo? for. Shall we go and investigate? Let's go. did not get the Star Trek jokes because I did not watch Star Trek. You, you, you correct. Enterprise just went right over my head. I've seen one whole movie of Star Trek and it was that newer one. I don't really remember much of it except for somebody screaming Khan Fuck. and he's seen us. Get them before they escape. I'm a peg was in it. Black Shields. Here. I mean I got the Enterprise joke. It was the other joke yeah, that everybody here. was making that just went what straight over the do? head. We give a damn. All that matters to us is that you don't leave here alive. <laughs> Stupid black shields. I am curious, because we've got two icons that we know of left, not counting Joshua. And Leviathan's normally a pretty prominent uh, big boy of summons, so I'm surprised Leviathan doesn't seem to be present, but who knows? It might just be that they just did the two and that's that. <laughs> Excuse me, I am murdering this man. Can you not wait your turn? Oh, 
That is all I asked. Hey, look. Now you get to die. Now you get to die. Oh, you, you cure yourself like a butthead. What is what is back here? Are you just just back here playing with Torgal? <laughs> What's going on? Were they just sitting in the woods? Sharpening steel? Why were they here? Were they planning an attack on Lost Wing? I need to warn Quentin. They are some aggressive stomps. I really enjoy the dumb finishers you can do when they're prone on the ground. <laughs> the kick into the air and like the slashes and stuff are great. <laughs> Still confusing my buttons. Playing two games at once is a mistake on PlayStation controller. My muscle memory is getting all confused. Do you have anything fun for me to purchase? Maybe friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Answer. <gasps> is it better? Is better. It does less stagger, but it better by five in the out department. But it's not, it's just not wanna buy it? No, I'm gonna see if I can because what's your face will have it. I'm gonna see if I can make it. Alright, let's do the Maybe you do have one. Alright, we're gonna take this. I hope it's to your liking. Keep it's fighting. Better to be fight. my be to my liking. Clive, how goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some you black shields hiding so in the so kind of pass. weirdly creepy, sir. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. Though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? He reminds me of like a creepy narrator, man. Because I want him like dead. Like suspense thing. Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of San Brack. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lost Wing? I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it. That didn't go and well, fight did it? I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. Ah. Uh. I was a but fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade, a means of ridding himself of his rivals, a mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family slaughtered. What the hell? He faced no punishment whatsoever. That doesn't seem like a everything. fair trade-off. My loved ones, my livelihood, my position. 
What? The faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. But the man himself Wait, proved an altogether more difficult target. You need to With money and stop. power come protection. <laughs> Both of you. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lostwing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades. And our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion, too. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, get I'm begin. not sure how I feel about any of this. Make ready for war. What is happening? Okay, y'all going to war. Bye. Things I didn't think this quest would end in. Okay. I'm not going to change his mind. Enjoy your war? I mean, I'm all for that dude, like, revenge murdering the main dude, but he doesn't have to murder everyone that worked for him. <laughs> Seems a little extreme. The finest Take a sniff, good sir. Now, there'll be no one to man the shop. Gone, just like that. And without so much as a bar, you'll leave. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? Sure. What's he I'll look see what like? I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. Then that's where I'll start. Yes, they're quite But what if I go get some sand first? Where did I get the sand? It is. If I go get some stardust. It's Stardust, so that like it's a spaceship. Uh -huh. Where's Gav? Where is Gav? There's a chocobo. There's a chocobo. Hi, Gav. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about, just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. Lizard. Hello, I am here to bag. So, 
This is Stardust. <laughs> it just looked like black sand to me. I don't know what part of this is black sand, but okay. sand that's over here um there's some ha -ha. yeah, but this water looks so pretty give it to me look at it oh should be oh, enough for now. Yes. Let's see how Gav's getting on. Gav's gonna be surrounded by bandits somehow, isn't he? This is too easy. Excuse me, does he have a like, ginormous bag? But also want a pet Torgo. Torgo, I'm trying to give you love. Like you cannot shake while I'm trying to give you love. <laughs> What is the point? You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Oh, fuck. You win. That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Here. I before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Sure. Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain? Hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. enough soppy shite for one day we'd better get this lot back to blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone <laughs> you go on ahead and try to get some rest once you're there oh i plan to believe you me after blackthorn gets what he needs of course to go home, boy. Alright. Go do... Where? How far away is... Go say hi to the random baker assistant. Why not? Did 
fitting ten whole grill. Hooray! Um. Yeah, there's no prompted. There is no prompter. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? But certainly not a baker. Master must rue the day he took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you missed the Mother Crystal. I hated her, but she was all I knew. Uh. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin, but I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? Oh, um. Um. Men do need therapy, but that's not the options I've been given. <laughs> uh, express yourself? Perhaps you could express yourself in your work. If you miss the fang, maybe you could recapture it somehow. Recapture it? I'm a baker, not a... You know, you might just be right. What a fool I've been! I have to get back to the bakery right away. Thank you! Thank you, my friend! You've opened my eyes! Wait. Ah. Uh, all right, bye. So be needing an escort then. a fire under my wayward apprentice <laughs> though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high he damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven master it's ready behold the Drake's balm a truly unique creation I dare oh say God. it oh. is <laughs> just look at it a perfect likeness of the fang herself that her steeple the peaks, her fulsom spurs, her inviting hollow. Please stop True, referring to it as her more often than inviting not, hollow. Was the fang without her crater. Why? No fang at all. And look, inside, she's filled <clears throat> to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the Fang. Uh, well, if it tastes off as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> ah, not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight. With any luck, I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. Quest completed.
Right. Well, we've solved that great yes, that conundrum. Back to back to the place. Yeah, there's no other side quest yet. No others? Like not just like a yield casual ruins place for us to go. I'm not really sure where to go for that bounty. Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. One giant pile of sand for you to alloy with. Is it business or pleasure? Go on then. He has it. Let's see what Is we can all? make with Blackthorn after we finish this quest. Blackthorn, got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the Stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tud all the time. I'll make a start on putting this firm all plating together then. It will take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. All these goblin coins. We'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. So we could have had a heart to heart with Otto, I guess. But I mean, I'm I'm pretty firm in my choice of being chosen Gav. What do you need? What's saying for you, dear? Aha! I can make the weapon. And look at that, it's even better when I make the weapon. Not bad, if I do say so myself. That's better there. So, reinforcements. Yeah. You can thank me later. Diamond sword. Excuse me, where do I get a diamond sword? Where do I get the diamond sword? I have an armlet. Are you holding out on me? Hold on me. Where do I get a white worm bone? I want to know what that sword looks like. I bet it's cool looking. Hey. And? Because we got new music. Thank you, Clive. Oh, is this song? Mm -hmm. All right, mid part two of building shipper. Oh, we got like a nice thin sword now. We're seeing troops in our center every morning. I'm glad the game at least reflects the changing of sword. I know most games can't put in a bunch of unique armor and stuff, but I at least appreciate when they give us bits and pieces. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent! One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. 
Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all the details. What's the name? Right. Oh. Wait. What? Just gonna oh, leave. Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Please Here don't you help see me. The mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. <laughs> Mid <laughs> it said be we bad. might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there it's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them it's um going to be considerably more dangerous than that i see then i suppose i'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you would that help oh very much thank you sid i'll gather my team and head there right away we'll meet you outside the ruins Unsure if she scared or aroused by the thought of the ship vaporizing. Scare roused. <laughs> um, boop 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 boop. Ooh. They're gonna be mid war. Would we have known had we not done the side quest? Oh, it does not happen. Take you to the storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. Like, would they not be doing this if we hadn't done that quest? Now I'm super curious. Did we oopsie start something? Going to here and then. Great for a little bit. Oh. I'm totally gonna get lost. If you're ready, we need to watch. Man, they like cleaning out. I missed the turn. Up there? I think it's up there. It was me. I mean, at least they're clearing everyone out that isn't gonna fight. That's good. Throw that. Pro not getting the women and children and elderly murdered.
bystanders from their war right especially seeing as apparently the people they're fighting were just like no i'll just kill your entire family what about entire village what if just murder what if more murder you really want to fight me you're level 13 i'm level 35 you think that a good time Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Her of rambling course. sweet. <laughs> I'll be right back. Ah. Uh, kind of thing's gonna be here. There's a chest. Anybody home? Chest to the left. Oh, hello. This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. Nope. What is happening? Oh, I don't think I should be in here. No. Yep. <laughs> it's <a> kill. <laughs> ah. It's not that I needed a blitz ball, it's just looking at it. I didn't do the look away mechanic. I didn't do the look away mechanic. How fancy 14 is more updated than 10. Anybody home? Poop on blitz balls. No lookies. This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. Did confirm my theory of I didn't want to be there though. No blitz ball required. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. 
Indeed. Like it was a chest. Well, I need the chest. Don't let us keep you. We'll um see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Chest. Don't make me leave. There's a chest. Letting off steam. He because we're making a steam engine. Remember if it's. I think it is because things are getting hot. Gotta cool down. I don't know. I'm just letting them build the things. Let me let me get the chest though. Around the corner. Ah. Ooh, that was that was a worth it chest for sure. That is a good crafting material. New game plus needs to be an option of just remove the cape. No cape. You can still have the hood. Alright, part three, let's go. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right, the shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shield in. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Oh. Um... Hippocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. Um, you love mid's accent. It's very heavy. <laughs> Extra British. Stuff. think of next what are these notes around the edges she has some specific requirements for the materials the shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight while also being light enough not to sink it as you can imagine she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs I see I wondered if you might know of a solution. 
Or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragon fire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. Are we going to go with Otto this time so that we are for sure going to have a moment with him? No, it's these two. Do I get to pick? So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare right, the Right, who are you picking? The itself. doctor, or...? Can we count on your like we haven't, unless... Always. I have to get to pick. Well, if Jill's game... Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to so, who will go with whom. We could do Jill, or we could do the doctor, who we have not really gotten, like, to hang out with. Does chat have any desires one way or the other? I feel like we... I, 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 we've spent a lot of time with Jill. Do we need to have another heart-to-heart -heart with her? I'm leaning towards the doctor. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? Okay, doctor. Yeah. Oopa. All right. So, what are we fetching? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. Garlic. Conch shells. Are you sure this is the right list? Looks like the ingredients for someone's supper. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Well, isn't that convenient? I was hoping to be able to make a trip over that way sometime soon. Need to speak to an old acquaintance. I'll meet you there. All right. Stay safe. I'll see you later, Clive. Good luck with your research. Hi, Jill. That just forces her to continue to rest. I don't know why I'm like walking as if I'm gonna walk my butt all the way there. That's not what we're gonna do. That'd be silly. Oop. Now, where's Taya? There she is. 
Keep them pilgers nice and chill. Need to stock up on these. Have you spoil there you are, Talia. Ah, and there you are. We shouldn't have any problems finding what we need in a place like this. But if time is of the essence, perhaps we should split up. Take a few items each. All right. What shall I look for? Let's see now. Why don't you take the garlic and the pepio nuts? Meet me by the gate when you've got them. Pepio. Thy cell will be gone. I sell before we behind. I pay what it's worth and no more. You are just a ray of You're sunshine, lucky to get huh? That much. I pay what it's worth and no more. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. I was supposed to buy a thing. Oi, don't touch anything. And good riddance. Buy your butthead. Glad you had to pay me more than I had to pay you. You haven't much, but you're free to look. Yeah, this man's much more happy. Ah, oh, yes. You're always welcome here in Lostwing. Hopefully, Ty is finished too. Excuse me, what? I mean, just said uh, you're always welcome here in Lost Wing. We're not what at Lost Wing. What can I interest you in today? Good day. What can I interest you in today? Oh, so can I? On to my plot. You heard him though. We have recorded evidence. This not Lost Wing. Northridge. You not belong here. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Well, did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and pepio nuts. Job done. We should get this back to Tomes then. He'll be waiting. But we're not in too much of a rush, are we? Quick chat. Am I getting nervous about all these chats? Are one about to die? Do you know? I think this is the very first time we've been out on an errand together. <laughs> I think you might be right. In all the years since you and that scowl of yours first appeared, you haven't invited me out once. For shame. Well, it seemed long overdue. And you did say you had some shopping to do. I was hoping to restock my supplies of herbs and liniment, yes. You and Jill alone burned through them like wildfire. No luck, though. My usual supplier's not here, and I refuse to pay the prices these gougers charge. I'll ask Kara when we get back. What is it? Oh, just memories. I came here with Sid once, shopping for supplies, just like today. And just like today, I came away empty-handed. Sid even said he'd speak to Karen for me when we got back. Has it really been five years? I remember it as if it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Does that mean it's been five years since we met? Feels a lot longer. It does. In a good way, of course. Thank you, Taya. For what? For everything. I just want you to know that all you've done for us, all you still do, it's appreciated. Do you think I'd stick around if I thought it wasn't? But in the spirit of sharing and caring... You're appreciated too. By all of us. Mm hmm.
Well, I think we've tarried long enough. I ought to get these ingredients back to Tome so he can make up this concoction of his. I'll meet you back at the hideaway, all right? All right. And thanks again. I heard you the first time. Oh, sweet. Badu, badu, badu. Still no side quest. Still no side quest. Yeah, I like her too. She's we, we haven't gotten to spend a lot of time with her, but she came up with a way for Branded to not be branded anymore. I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive. It was good to talk. We should do it again sometime. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps... Someone ought to warn young mid of that. <laughs> Leave it to me. Thank Not you, testing. I like tomes. We're just like you. Do, you need money, right? Here's some well, things. I better go and give mid the good news then. <laughs> just gonna solo yolo the shipbuilding. Please don't, with her invention of magiteching. Please don't YOLO. <laughs> We're only just learning to step away from the magic. Let's not YOLO it. We're seeing troops amassing at every border. Oh, hello, you have things for me. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Meet your right. All yours. Who are those who strive to lighten the burden borne by the crystal's curse? We are to survive the coming storm. We must stand together, bearer and brother, as you have shown. Oh, wonder what this is. Got to be like extra good healing potency, maybe. All done. All right, mid. Well, they test stuff. Let's go to a grave and be fairies. Sorry to keep you waiting, mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. 
Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! You know, when I go into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dars. <laughs> Displacement stacks. Same difference. I agree. <laughs> Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> Is finally finished. How the hell are you gonna transport that? Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. What? I'm sorry. What? Oh, didn't I tell you? What? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. What? You don't mean. <laughs> Don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Ma'am. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? Oh. <laughs> All right, mid. I'm. What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown, searching for a land untouched by the blight, just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst, and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black. We might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but... Where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Huh? Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Huh? Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um, you were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. New quest, new missive. Ah. Let's go grab this. The quest, the missive? Eh? 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 
That's never been a thing. He cracked the crystal too. Ah. Ah. First, we will forgive me for putting you and your dear uncle to the test. I'm confident that a man of your position can understand the importance of earning one's trust. Earning one's trust. Especially in times like these. For what it's worth, you now have earned mine, and I can assure you that it shall not easily be relinquished. May this be the start of a fruitful friendship. Coming through the hideaway ledgers and Otto's behest and might have come across something that might need your attention. Maybe. And by that, I mean immediately. Okay. Trouble with the ledgers. Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? Let me let me accept other quests though. Something ain't right with that hound of yours. Ah! Ah! This is our new This is our Come newest newest and most prioritized well when I last saw him. quest. We gotta do the Blackthorn one because it's a plus one, which means it'll upgrade something. The pen is mightier. Cheers for your help dragging Blackthorn out of the dumps the other day. Thing is, I reckon he's gone and thrown himself back in, judging by the droop of his jowls lately. So I'm thinking maybe it weren't just the leather that what what was on his mind. Oh, that's so British. Maybe there's an other demons jabbing their pitchfork into his privates. I know you're a busy bloke, but the next time you find yourself free, could we maybe go and ask the old bastard what's got him so hot and bothered? I mean, it isn't just the forge. Hopefully it's nothing. But I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. But Torgal first. Torgal. Ah, uh, Torgal. What is wrong with my boy? Baby boy, are you okay? I got your note. You think something's wrong with Torgal? So you can read. Congratulations. Ma'am. <laughs> but I didn't say I were wrong with him. I said some weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at boiled him. Boiled brown. Didn't like him. Which is why I'm of a mind that his man's on summit else. You've not been working him too hard, have you? No harder than usual. Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? What was it you said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose things have been different since Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? Perhaps. I need to ask you about Torgal. Something's not right with him. He isn't ill, is he? I don't think so. But according to Lady Karen, he seems to have lost his appetite. Which is certainly a new development. She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. I rather think she might be right, though not about his appetite. All canids are instinctively inclined to crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within. And I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. Accordingly, I suspect it is not a lack of appetite that afflicts Torgal, but a surfeit of it. If we assume that his newfound magics require additional nourishment to sustain, it may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no longer sufficient. Frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger animals, 
whose bones may yield altogether different nutrients. As to where one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that graze the meadows of eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. I don't recall ever seeing any that large. And little wonder. The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of the highlands for fear of predators. The ah, last so we're going to go predate. I recall hearing about took place near Cressida, and that was long before the village was abandoned. Even so, it seems like a good place to start. Good hunting, Clive. It better not be Chocobo the Torkoal craves. That would make me big sad. All right, let's go predator on stuff. This exit, that's not where I thought it was, but it was get in there. It's just pile a bunch of wood. It'll be sturdy. Give me some ambrosia. Oh, Faster. None of these are worth our time to fight. Level 19. Haha. -ha. Getting little monsters now that she's made antelope, it big. <laughs> it would seem like just the place. I mean, are those giant? I mean, I guess they're a little bigger. Elder antelope. I doubt we'll find one bigger than that. You hungry, Toggle? Oh, it's, it's giraffe pattern. Excuse me. Just kick me. It will be a feast. I feel like I've accidentally absolutely murdered these elder and wiser <laughs> four antelopes. We are covered in blood. Oh. oh, we're less covered in blood. Will it be enough, I wonder? <laughs> Hope we didn't do all that for a singular femur. I say that answers my question. Which means we owe the lawsmen our thanks. You're just a big puppy, aren't you? A very big puppy. <laughs> you do know you can take that with you, Toggle. Lady Karen will be relieved to hear you've got your appetite back. Come on, boy. That feel good, boy. <laughs> yeah.
my puppy is super passed out. When a big old snooze. Is that the thing Toes help to build? Yeah. I noticed you and Toga had gone off somewhere. Took him for a walk, did you? <laughs> you could say that. So, Molly's leftovers weren't good enough, eh? That'll teach me for treating you like you're still a pup. <coughs> all right, all right, no need to shout. Now I know what you're after, I can see about getting some in. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? I brought five. <laughs> You can, I. I'm nice like that. In return, you can thank Tomes for me. The bloody know it all. I was just on my way to see him. The nobleman who visited. Ah, Clive. Were you able to locate your quarry? We were indeed, Lawsman. You pointed us in exactly the right direction. And Torgal's been a very happy hound ever since. Very good, very good. Lady Karen sends her thanks, by the way, for your part in solving the mystery. Ah, but that reminds me. After your last visit, I found myself pondering Torgal's talents. Do you recall our conversation concerning Lady Jill's role in Torgal's transformation? About how she somehow woke the power within him? Precisely that. A reasonable conclusion, I thought. But one which raised certain questions in my mind. You see, the Fenrir of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. And while the powers attributed to him are certainly impressive, the records imply they are somewhat different in nature to those you describe Torgal as having used. What are you suggesting? That Torgal may be the beneficiary of more than one icon's power. Ah, Consider he's like us. In addition to Lady Jill, he has served as a loyal companion to you, your brother, and even the late Sid. In short, the icons hitherto near at hand, or should I say at poor, have been diverse and plenty. And that number has only grown as the realm's dominance have fallen to your sword. One can but speculate as to how all of this has affected Torgal. He has seemed more fierce of late. And if I am not mistaken, he will grow fiercer still. We are fortunate indeed to be able to count him amongst our allies and not our adversaries. <laughs> oh, he's more than an ally. He's a friend. Good boy. Ooh. Alright, let's go do some sad feeling things. Like a Torgo puppy, please. The biggest of boy. Mid told me she was building a ship. All right, Clive. Astrid. Mid finished sending half the hideaway tropes in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive? Were you born yesterday or something? 
There is no thing. Mid. <laughs> She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Mid. I might still be able to catch her. Mid. Yep. In a boat. Going that way. Mid. <sighs> then I'm too late. Oh, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rowed off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What tidings, uncle? My dear boy, my journey to Kavnir has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of its strong box with us, but his considerable knowledge of the going on, goings on in free cities, by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain friend, young friend of yours. Though I, for one, believe Miss Telemon's project to be quite a valiant enter, to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt that. God, Abnerian authorities will kindly, will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door. Which is why I pen you this note. I'd like you to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, that he might keep watch on those who might mean our little fellowship ill, to warn us of any impeding attack. Trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration. Your loving uncle. Troubling Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? Yes. It, uh, seems that way. Well... Nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure to give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna be real sad real quick. You can know how you wanted to relax a little bit and comment on how we keep sending you off. Well, off you go. <laughs> Need to hold it. Dirt, 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 dirt. Does that mean she came? Well, 
Sid. I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. Say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. Not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Where's me marshmallow boy? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Goots. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> you letting me go with them? <laughs> oh, thanks, Nan. Stop that. You break me bones, you great galoot. I don't think you will. You just were able to shove him. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed I'm dying. by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less so risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? That horse is out of the barn over the fence and across the menu. <laughs> Meadow. <laughs> Do you see that, Sid? Your protege's making a proper little outlaw of himself.
quest complete or quest to do? Is there an additional thing or were they just telling me? Oh, there is an additional thing. There is an additional thing. At least advance enough so that the map is open. feeling better thanks to Talia I'm glad to hear it and Toggle helped too the new boy work so I think we're gonna stop there because that feels like a good stopping point before we get into all our shenanigans up ahead Just a giant hole in the map ain't it mmm so yeah, we're gonna stop here. We'll play some more later this week. And uh, everybody enjoy themselves. Have a good week. I don't know if I can squeeze in. Actually, no. I don't know. We'll see how the rest of the week goes. Maybe I can squeeze in a daytime stream or something else. This little FF break and then we'll be back Friday probably with more of this during the day. Everybody have a good one, and we'll see y'all later. Bye!